Hi guys, had a few queries on battery power supplies for various projects and I just thought I'd run through some of the ones that I use um, not in any particular order but just to try and demonstrate where you can get cheap back battery packs um, start off with the most expensive one first that I've got this is a little um, USB power supply it's one of those ones that's got the and I can't remember which they are, but it's got a particularly powerful battery in it that is a rechargeable battery, a uh, 3.7 volt battery, which is then boosted by the electronics inside to give us 5 volts. In fact, if I plug this in, it should actually say 5 volts. There we go. So... That's the most expensive one I've got. I can't remember how much it was. It was probably less than £10. But I don't use it very often unless it's something that specifically needs a good 5 volt power supply. If it's something that just needs nearly 5 volts, like maybe this infrared remote sensor, then I usually use three AA or AAA batteries. And where are we? There we are. There's three AAA batteries in a nice little battery pack that came out of either this, and I can't actually remember to be honest, but I think that's, yeah, that'd fit in there. Or it comes out of one of these little torches. which has the same sort of pack inside. So three AAA batteries in there. That's a pound from Poundland. That's a pound from Poundland. And you get the LEDs obviously for other projects. Um, if you don't need... Well, let's just explain. Three AAA batteries, three times 1.5, so four and a half volts. They're a little bit higher voltage when they're fresh so you've got nearly five volts there. So that's usually enough to run something like this. There you go. Now obviously I've had to add leads onto that to plug it into whatever I want to plug it into and I've actually got a pack of these from eBay, so I can just solder them on to anything I want to. And they're quite handy. Those are the sort of things that you normally have on little radio-controlled aeroplanes. That's the sort of connector that goes on there for a small LiPo battery. Um, other things that I do, any remote controls, TV remote controls, anything like that that I take apart, I try and harvest the actual battery pack or connectors and then use them to give us a power supply. In fact that's out of a TV remote. And I've added a switch on the side of it. Let's turn him around so we can see him. my little Halloween friend that I made the other day. Then, talking about these, again, a pound, a set of mini LED red lights, two AA batteries go in there. If you want to use it to drive three volts on something, be aware that there is a little resistor in there to drop the voltage before it gets to the LEDs. So you might need to take the resistor out that's in there if you want the full benefit of your batteries. The convenience of this is it also has an on-off switch in there. So that's a handy little package all in one. Um, that's a similar set of lights that I've modified by putting some crocodile clips on them so I can connect that to things and then probably at the bottom of the range <laughs> so
sells this as being a battery backup for your MP3 or mobile phone. And I suppose to be fair, it will give you a little bit of a boost. It's not going to charge your mobile phone, but when your power's low and you need to make a call, this takes four AAA batteries. And that's enough because it comes with a nice little USB connector. That's enough to get your phone working. But at the same time, that's also enough to give you a power supply. And it's a nice little power supply there. Nice little container. So that would fit on a toy car or something like that. And give you three times one and a half, six volt power supply. So I hope that helps. That's just a very quick run through the sort of things I use as power supplies. Oh, don't know if I showed you that one. Again, Poundland. It has a very similar little battery box inside it, but this one actually has four AAA batteries. Four AAA. So, again, that will give you six volts, whereas that one will give you four and a half volts. I think that's it. hope that helps. Just very quickly, I'll just take this little power bank or USB power supply apart because I've just looked at Julian Eilert's channel to check what they're actually called <laughs> and it's actually written on here now that I've opened it up. It's an 18650 battery. This one's 2200 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts. So as I say, they're particularly powerful batteries. You need a proper charger for them. They don't charge in your normal battery chargers, but they give you that extra power and then the electronics up under there boost it from 3.7 volts up to 5 volts for your whatever it is you're powering from it. So if you really, really, really need a proper USB 5 point, whatever it is, 5.2 volt power supply, then you're probably better getting something like that. But majority of your electronics, the little things that you get from eBay and that, they'll run on three AAA batteries or maybe four AAA batteries if you want that little bit of extra boost. But if you're using them long term, you may have a problem. They may overpower it or underpower it. You may need to fit some circuitry to tidy it up. But for the sort of things I do, three AAA batteries is fine.